Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start the, um, we're still doing the hat here. So I did a little oval shape. It should be about an inch by seven eighths of an inch wide by one inch long from the front to the back. I'm doing some measurements on mine. A lot of you have asked about measurements, so I try to take care of that a little bit. And this will be fussed with more later um, when we start putting the buckle around it. And you'll see how we get that done. Okay, so there's our hat. I think that looks pretty good. And um, I'm just going to trim it out a little bit on each side. Get rid of this. You want to get rid of all of the markings that are the bandsaw marks or the roughness, the rough edges or the rough looking parts of the your carving like this here will all have to be shaved off later because when you go to paint it will be darker uh, not that it matters with the hack it's going, to, it's going to be black anyway but when you do other colors um, and you use that milk consistency sometimes those places that are rough are going to soak up soak up the water much more uh, the paint much more than those that are not so All right, that looks pretty good. So we'll, we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so the next thing I start to do, I start putting in the nose. And the nose goes in about a half inch down or so. All right, and we're just gonna put a marking right across. All right, so I'm gonna mark it a little bit on either side. I like the nose a little bit wider at the bottom, of course. And then I kind of mark it a little bit at the top so it's kind of even. Alright, that's a little thin, but what I do is I kind of, that just gives me a guideline there, okay? Alright, that looks pretty good. First thing I do is I do the bottom part of the nose, okay? bottom part of the nose. I'm going to pop that out a little bit more underneath each corner. You want to be careful that you don't knock that corner off. Keep some super glue nearby. It's handy. I haven't done it yet, but there's always the first time. Okay, when I do the nose, I'm going to push pretty deep right where the nose and the top of the eye meet. Now I'm going to follow this completely parallel to what it is. Let me do that back here. It's just a little easier. Let me do the other side as well, so I'm not going back and forth as much. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to really do both sides parallel, and then you're just going to kind of notch it out a little bit. Just very carefully notch it out. Or make your point of your knife go around it like that. I'm going to do this again a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to start digging this down a little bit deeper. Make it shaping the nose a little bit. Alright. Now, after I get that done, I usually like to put the feet in so I can kind of figure out where to put everything else. Like I work from the bottom up to know how long the beard's going to be and all the rest of it. The back side is not really a big deal. Once we get that all done, you'll see how to put all these different things in on the back. But what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and put um, some footing in. So let me measure this one here. Alright, so give me a guideline. Uh, I do one side. I always lean my 
my finger up against it there. Do the second and do the top. Now, when I do the top here, I know I'm going to put the shoe out a little bit above that. So I'm going to go up a little bit, down a little bit, and then in. Just like so. Alright, just a little bit above there. This goes in. This goes in a little bit. Let's see if that's roughly the same. Yep, that's very good. Go a little higher. There we go. Alright. Then what I do here is I just take my knife at each corner and I just knot, I kind of follow the foot a little bit, the boot, and I notch it out just like so on either side. And I notch the bottom out a little bit and it gets curved a little bit there, a little bit here. All right. Now, I'm going to outline the foot. What I do is I take the tip of the knife and I follow what I drew on with the pencil. And right here at the end, right here at the end, I go ahead and just notch it out a little bit. Just like so. Alright, because the pumpkin is going to be round anyway, so we can just notch that out. Just like that. And since I already put my stop cut in there, I'm just going to go around the foot and make it come out a little bit. There we go. Alright. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Alright. Just kind of follow that foot around and get both of them notched out. And then that's a good way to start. Alright, so this foot's a little shorter, so I'm gonna have to make that a little shorter. Alright, then what I put on here, I'll come back with the next segment in just a minute. 